Hi, welcome to another session of circuits and networks. In today's three phase circuits under class 8, we are going to see two phase watt meter method problems and solutions. So, many times, either in competitive exams or in regular exams, there are n number of problems which are posed on two phase watt meter method. So, what are those kind of different problems we are going to see in today's session? So, let us start with the first problem. Two watt meters are used to measure power in a three phase balance load. Determine the load power factor if two readings are equal and positive, two readings are equal and negative, and one of the watt meter reading is zero. So, it's a basic and common problem which is often asked in competitive exams as well as regular exams. So, how to find out the solution? First, let us take a case of power factor if two readings are equal and positive. What does that mean? W1 watt meter reading 1 and W2 watt meter reading 2 of two watt meter methods are both equal and positive. For that, what is the formula for tan phi? Tan phi is equal to root 3 W1 minus W2 by W1 plus W2. So, since both the watt meter readings are equal. This tan phi leads to zero value. In fact, phi, the angle between voltage and current, will give you the value as zero. And when you are going to take the power factor, that is cos of phi, which is zero, the value will be equal to one. So the power factor, if two readings are equal and positive, will be equal to one. What if the power factor of two readings are equal but of opposite sign? So here we are going to take W1 is equal to minus W2 and we are, we are going to take help of this formula tan phi and when you are going to substitute the values, you are going to get infinity. Then the angle between voltage and current would be 90. Therefore, the power factor will lead you the value as 0 since cos 90 is 0. And finally, one of the watt meter reading is 0. So, power factor, if one of the watt meter reading is 0, means I am going to equate either W1 equal to 0 or W2 equal to 0, then what happens to tan phi? Tan phi will be equal to root 3. In fact, phi will be equal to tan inverse of root 3, which is nothing but 60, and power factor will be equal to cos 60 which is nothing but 0 0.5. So, in many exams, this is a basic question which is posed for two-phase watt meter reading method. I hope you understood this problem. Let us go with the next problem that is two watt meters connected to measure the power of a balanced three-phase circuit and the readings obtained are 4000 watts and 800 watts respectively. Find the power factor of the circuit when both the readings are positive and when the latter is obtained after reversing the connection to the circuit current coil of one instrument. What does it mean? Uh, the two watt meter readings are measured and the connections are reversed in the two watt meter method then what is going to happen to the overall power factor is the problem. For that, let us take W1 is equal to 4000, W2 is equal to 800 watts and calculate the power factor of the circuit when both readings are positive. So here the both readings are positive, then what is going to happen? We have tan phi which is equal to root 3 W1 minus W2 by W1 plus W2. So substituting the value of W1 and W2, I am going to get the value of tan phi which is equal to 1.1547. Therefore, angle, the power angle will be equal to 49.1 and hence the power factor will be equal to 0 0.654. So, this is a solution of power factor when both the readings are positive while measuring the watt meter readings and both are positive. What if the power factor of the circuit when the latter reading is obtained after reversal of the 
current coil of one instrument means what w1 is 4000 w2 is minus 800 watts then with the help of tan phi i am going to get the value of tan phi as 2.598 hence the angle power angle will be equal to 68.94 hence the power factor would be 0.359 in the next problem in a balanced three phase system the power is measured by two wattmeter method and the ratio of two wattmeter readings are 3 is to 2 if the load is inductive then determine the power factor in some cases they may ask if the load is capacitive then determine the power factor so that problem i leave it up to you please calculate and comment in the chat box what answer you are going to get here we are going to see if the load is inductive so when you are going to go over the solution it is given that w1 by w2 is equal to 3 by 2 that is the ratio of the wattmeter readings that is 3 is to 2 So here we are taking W1 by W2 is equal to 3 by 2. Hence W1 will be equal to 3 by 2 W2. Okay. Then tan phi will be equal to root 3 by 5. Why root 3 by 5? Because W1 is 3 by 2 W2. So I am substituting instead of W1 as 3 W2 by 2. So this is the resultant of tan phi. In fact, the value is 0.346. Now, power angle will be equal to 19, and cos approximately 19 or 20 will be equal to 0.94. This roughly I have taken the value, so the power factor would be around this value. So I hope you understood the problem three as well as problem two. Let us go with the next problem. So in problem four, a three-phase 50. Kilo volt amperes load has a power factor of 0.68. The power is measured by two watt meter method. We have to find out the readings of each watt meter when power factor is leading and power factor is lagging. Okay, for that, let us take the overall power, that is the apparent power, which is nothing but 50 kilo volt amperes. The power factor here is given as 0.68. The data which is given in the problem. Since the apparent power is equal to root 3 VL IL, and the value is 50 kilovolt amperes, I'll get the value of VL IL as 50,000 divided by root 3, which is equal to 28.867513 kilovolt amperes. And also, the power factor value is 0.68. So the power angle value will be forty-seven point one five six. The reading of each watt meter when the power factor is leading. It is given by W one is equal to V L I L cos thirty plus five. So the value of V L I L we just now we have estimated as twenty-eight point eight six seven five one three kilovolt amperes. I am taking this kilo into the picture, so it becomes two eight. Eight six seven point five one three cos of thirty plus the power angle that is forty seven point one five six. This will give you the value as the V L I L value as it is cos of seventy seven point one five six value is zero point two two two. This value will be equal to six thousand four hundred and thirty seven point four five watts. I hope this. Calculation is easy. Similarly, I calculate watt meter two reading as V L I L cos thirty minus five when power factor is leading. So the value will be twenty-seven thousand five hundred sixty-eight point four seven watts. Now, what if the reading of each watt meter when power factor is lagging? So the formulas of W one. Changes to VLIL cos of 30 minus 5, and this value will be equal to the quite opposite value what we got for the leading condition that is 27,568.47 watts, and W2 will be equal to 6437.45 watts. Isn't that simple? Yes. 
Let us go with another example of three coils, each with an impedance of Z phase, which is given in rectangular form as 8 plus 6 J ohms are connected in star connection across three phase, 50 hertz, 415 supply. Calculate line current and readings of two watt meter watt meters connected to measure power. So we need to calculate W1 and W2 of two watt meter method. For that, take the data which is given to us. So in a star connected load, V phase is equal to VL by root 3. So the V phase value will be equal to 415 by root 3 which is equal to 240 volts. Okay. Also, Z phase in rectangular form is given as 8 plus 6J ohms. So that we can convert the rectangular coordinates into polar coordinates at 10 at an angle 36.86 ohms. With that, I'll get the value of resistor as 8 ohms and inductive reactance as 6 ohms, whereas from polar form, I'll get the modulus of impedance as 10 ohms and the phase angle between voltage and current is 36.86. So that is the information I have derived from the given problem. Also, we need to calculate the line current. For a star connected load, line current and phase current are equal. So line current is equal to phase current and phase current will be equal to phase voltage by phase impedance. Since we have already determined the phase angle between voltage and current, so the power factor would be equal to 0.8. I hope you understood this step. And as I was talking about the line current and phase current, which are equal in star connected network, here we are going to obtain the value as 24 amperes. So once we are done with voltages and currents in star connected network, then it is easy for us to calculate the active power which is given by root 3 VL IL cos phi. So root 3, the VL value is 415. The IL value we have estimated as 24 amperes. The cos phi value we have taken and calculated the phase angle relation and we got the value as 0.8. With this, the active power is obtained as 13,800.98 watts. In fact, this power is nothing but the total power that is W1 plus W2 of 2 watt meter method which we have derived and obtained as 13,800.98 watts. Now, from the formula of tan phi is equal to root 3, W1 minus W2 by W1 plus W2, I'm just substituting the value of W1 plus W2 and tan phi, which is equal to tan 36.86 and the value of W1 minus W2 would be 5973.84 bands. With these two equations, we can easily obtain the value of W1 and W2, whose values are 9887.41 watts and 30 sorry 3913.57 watts respectively so this is how we calculate all the problems related to two watt meter method for different load conditions so i hope you like this video please share among your friends subscribe to my channel and please press the bell icon for the future notifications. Thank you.